Hello, my name is Anu Pingode. I'm a Java trainer. Today I'm going to start a new topic. JSTL, JSP Standard Tag Library. Here, JSP stands for Java Server Pages. The same HTML file with uh, JSP extension. JSP allows to create dynamic pages using Java along with HTML. JSP provides uh, various techniques to create dynamic pages. So far, we learned scripting, where we talked about scriptlet, expression, declaration, and directives. Then we learned expression language, a way simpler and powerful approach than the scripting. Now we'll talk about JSTL. When we talk about JSTL, the first question comes in the mind. Why JSTL when the EL is so simple and compact? The first thing is the JSP is a tag based page. So we want to use tags and no scripting. And the second thing is uh, while using EL, there are few security issues that can be overcome later in the video series. I'll talk about it. And the third point is um, the EL function requires configuration and Java coding, but JSTL has a uh, predefined libraries and without any hassles, we can program. Using EL along with JSTL is a common practice and uh, both are complementary for each other. But before we start, we need to download two JAR files. The first one is uh, JSTL.jar and the another one is uh, standard.jar. Once you download the jar files, you should keep them in uh, Tomcat lib directory. And don't forget to restart the server. In JSTL, we are going to learn various tags like cout, c4h, choose, cf, cvin, cimpo, etc. But uh, before we use the tags, don't forget to insert the tag library directive in response page. So let's start.